Hello. So, of course, I meant to do um, a bunch of videos that one day I said I was going to record all of them and then upload throughout the week. And as usual, the camera ran out of battery right after that video. So no more videos got done. And then it's a new camera, so I plugged it in to charge it, but apparently it does not charge that way. You have to, like, charge the battery itself. So um, I have not been able to do any more videos up until now, but now it's properly charged. So um, I had a request to go ahead and show how I made this palette and um, I fully intended to go ahead and do that but what happened was I made another mini palette in the meantime that was um, slightly different and so now I don't really have like the paint. Um, see they're kind of getting like really low. I'm basically running out of my paint so I can't really... Um, like show how I did it, but I can kind of walk you through it. So basically, as I said, you take one of these things and you take out the backing. So not the um, actual case that holds them, but this part, because this case is much deeper. So if you want more paint and you don't mind it being um, like a thicker palette, or having more dimension then you can cut off these edges and use this part but if you want something thin enough to go in a notebook I would recommend using this part because as you can see you can still fit a lot of paint in there um, so once you have that then you need something to use for this flap right here which is like a plastic sort of piece and um, for that, you can use like a transparency or some kind of packaging. Um, I bought one of these in Target for like a dollar or something. Um, and I used the back sheet for something else and the front sheet I used for this. So then you just kind of trace it and or measure this and cut it out to size. And then get um, a thick piece of watercolor paper or I mean I guess it doesn't have to be thick. And then I just basically punched a circle out with my punch and then I traced a bunch of them to kind of um, correspond with these and then I added the paint so I can see what colors I have so, and that becomes kind of the cover. And then so you take that and you tape it to the, to the palette and then you take this flap and you tape it to the palette as well. So that becomes kind of the protective sheet in case they're still kind of wet and it becomes the palette. Here and here you can mix your colors. So in order to get the paint in correctly, you will need a tool. You can use a needle or, you know, something sharp, but I would recommend using something more like this. If you can see... If the camera would focus... Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's got a ball tip. It's called a stylus of some sort, and I think you can get it if you want to work with like clay or something. You can get it in one of those sections. Um, so this is the bigger ball, and this is the smaller ball tip. And you want like a paper towel, and then you just, when you pour the paint in, you just kind of take your stylus and you go around and make sure it adheres to the edges and then it dries. Now I don't know if this technique will work with all paints because as you can see these paints all like kind of go in nicely and these are the Holbin Artist watercolors. This is a very um, a really good watercolor paint. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I really like it. So, and you can see they go in really nice, but you can tell this one's different. This is a different brand that I used. This is actually, um, this is called Mission, Mission Watercolors, Mihello Gold, something like that. So, they're also sold on Amazon. The paint itself is actually very nice. I've used it, and it's good quality, and I really like it. But in terms of pouring it into these things, it does not work very well. Like it was very hard. Like you can see it's not it's not in there nearly as nice as the other paints. Um, you just don't get a good result with it. So 
Um, if you want to make your own little palettes, I would recommend these ones, or I don't know how other ones work. I haven't really tried other ones, so I can't really say. Um, so that's how I made that one, and here's where I used up a bunch of my paint. I made one of these because this is really nice and convenient to take to to work for me to take to work with me so and you can see it goes in there nicely and again I use that Mihalo gold and you see how like the other paints are all in there yeah some of them cracked a little but they all adhere to the sides because I kind of like after pouring them in I went around the sides and made sure they were like all spread out very well and they were like creamy and thick so they spread really well but this one it did not work as well and you can see when it dried up it kind of shrinks and it came away from the side. I don't know if you can see that. The other ones did not, but the Mihalo Gold uh, Mission watercolors, that one did. So again, it works nice. I have no complaint with it, but if you wanna fill up little water palettes, that might not be the best way to go. So when I'm going on my vacation, I'm going to bring this in the notebook and then I'm bringing this with me instead of bringing my big watercolor palette that I use um, because this is very light and portable and you can always slip it into a backpack and take it with you so I will also show you the way I made that so obviously you need an Altoid tin and then this is a mini ice cube tray it, it goes like this and it, it goes like this or something so I actually got four palettes out of just one ice cube tray. You can get these at Bad Bath & Beyond and if you have like a $5 off coupon, like I don't, you don't even need that because they're only like three or four dollars to begin with for two, for a pack of two. So it's extremely cheap. And the reason I did that was because this pack is 18 watercolors and if you get half palettes, half, little half palette, um, or not half palette, half, um, half trays, yeah, half trays for the watercolors that are especially for watercolors. I think at most you can fit 12 into an Altoid tin. You can see that I was able to fit in 18 by using the mini ice cube tray. So I'm able to take all my colors with me, which is exactly what I wanted. So, um, and it fits in there very snugly. So when you, so I can't move it, so I didn't have to glue it or adhere it or anything. You just like kind of squish it in and once it's in there, it's not coming back out. And I'm gonna put some paper towels or something or like a cloth or sponge here or something for the, um, for the, um, for the brush. Um, here's another container I found that also, this is basically like a first aid container. You can always stick either these in there or or some or the half pallets. Why do I keep saying half pallets? It's half trays. Here's another one I found in Target. Um, it's like a little tin. I'm just showing you guys all the different things you could use. Um, here's this one. You could also stick some things in here. Um, if you want something super tiny, just like six colors to take with you or something like that. So one of the options, like I said, is this. Another option is this. Another option is the half trays or the full trays that you can buy. Um, I think they're slightly bigger than this size for the half trays. Another option is um, Imagine S makes these eye top things that you can buy. And here's the smallest size. And you can use these little ones to, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be on the design team for Imagine S, so I actually have a ton of these. So I might make a little palette with these as well, because they actually hold the water, they would hold a, a good amount of paint in them. And you can kind of, I could make either like, I think I measured this out and I could stick like seven in there. It would be like three, three and one here. So I could either do seven colors here, or um, obviously if I bought like one of those, I've been eyeing a set of, I think, 48 colors for the Holbin that come in a set of 48. I probably could fit like 48 in here just with these little ones if I wanted a super tiny palette. So um, yeah, so there are like a lot 
of different options and ideas out there. And again, I'm sorry I don't have more paint to show you exactly how I did it. But when I get more paint down the road, um, I will go ahead and show you guys probably in like a few months or something when I come back from vacation. I might finally buy more paint and make some more little trays so then I'll show you exactly how I do it. But really it's just like um, all you have to do is kind of go have a stylus, make sure you have a stylus and go around the sides and make sure it's spread out. So really you want it spread out and adhering to the sides so that it doesn't go anywhere. So. Um, yeah, that's it. And now that my camera's working again, I'm going to go ahead and make more videos very soon. Um, so thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions as always, and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye guys.